And now, let's welcome to the Midway Press Box Comedy Stage our featured act, Dan, the Common Man Cole! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming here tonight. I am the Common Man, Dan Cole. I host the Midday Show from noon to 3 at KFAN Radio in Minneapolis. How many people here have heard of KFAN Radio? Okay. How many people wish they'd never heard of KFAN Radio? Well, I tell you, I... Um, this is a really nice sized crowd. This is big. I'm, I'm not used to this size audience. <laughs> I don't get a chance to talk to this many people very often. Timberwolves would kill for a crowd like this, though, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd call it a sellout. Well, I don't know about that, that Timberwolves team. They're really having trouble at the box office. They were doing some kind of a promotion a couple of Saturdays ago where if you visited a Target store on a Saturday, a couple of Saturdays ago, you were able to get four tickets to their season opener against New Jersey. And if you got there before, like if you're one of the first 50 people to get there, they'd give you 12 tickets. Four to the New Jersey game, four to the Boston game, and then four to the Cleveland Cavaliers game. And if you went to all three games, they also gave you one free hour on the psychiatrist couch. Who would, I mean, who would even consider going to one of those games? As a matter of fact, they've gotten so generous there at Target Center. When you go at home and go to bed tonight, check under your pillow. The Taylor Ticket Tooth Fairy will put two tickets underneath your pillow if you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Dan Cole. I'm 50 years old. I have two kids, one wife. Well, only one wife right now. I mean, my second wife hasn't even been born yet. My kids are seven years old, Deuce and baby brother Peter. Love my kids. They uh, First time they actually both enjoyed Halloween on the exact same day. Let me check. Let me take that over. Take two. First time they actually both really enjoyed Halloween. This was the first year ever. Uh, they both went as the same uh, costume, too. They both went as skeletons. Got the costume out of my closet. Oh, sure, I got a few skeletons in the closet. As a matter of fact, so few, well, actually so many, you open up my closet door, it looks like Arlington National Cemetery. Born in Detroit. Yeah, no, don't apologize. That's okay. I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that. But Detroit, um, you know, things aren't good there. I mean, it's not just it hasn't just coincided with when I left, but things haven't gone very well there. I mean... Accusations of mismanagement, poor pro uh, poor product, losing money. They're even talking about bankruptcy. But I don't think Detroit, uh, the NFL would ever let that happen. They need Detroit in the league. <laughs> Detroit gets a bad rap, though. They really do. I mean, for instance, their educational system is a lot better than you might think it is. No, it really is. I mean, think about it. I mean, well, for instance, this is how you learn to count in Detroit. 0-1. 0-2, 0-3, 0-4, But actually, they finally won the first game. I, I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but they set, the re they set the record for futility, 16 losses in a season. They actually had 18 losses in a row because they lost the last game of the season the year before, lost 16 in a row last year, and lost the first game this season until they finally beat Washington, the Washington Redskins, which is ironic because that means that's the second time in a year that Washington has bailed out Detroit. Okay, thank you. My time is up. I'm the common man, Dan Cole. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you.